and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Overwhelm. We're going to be playing a new Noxus aggro deck where we're going to be splashing some Targon in it. Let's see what we got. We got um, three one drops, Legion Saboteur, Precious Pet, and now the new Targon one drops, Solari Soldier. This is just a great one drop that can be a 3-3 whenever it's attacking right away. Our twos we know with with um, Noxus, Demolitionist, and Legion Grenadier, both awesome two mana cards. Um, over at three, of course, we got Draven Ballista. So, you know, like these are just our good Noxus aggro. But now this is where it gets spicy. Our other three mana card is Reckless Trifarian, which normally I have not really liked Reckless Trifarian, even in these kind of aggro decks. The ability, the non ability, I guess you could say, of blocking, like you can't. The fact that you can't block, <laughs> it's kind of weird of saying the ability to not block. I don't know. That's, yeah. Anyway, the fact that Reckless Trifarian can't block um, makes it just very one-dimensional. It's it's easy to throw like little 1-1 one -one bodies in front, and it's easy to outrace Reckless Trifarian because it's only affecting combat half of the time, where all the other cards are affecting combat, um, you know, 100% of the time. And so I haven't liked this card too much. However, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make this better by giving it Overwhelm. Now, of course, we have Kato the Arm, which that's been used with the Reckless Trifarian in the past. But, you know, that's that's two turns afterwards. And then you have, also have to wait for an attack. And you got to have your Kato survive. And, you know, you have to have some things work out for you. Sometimes it does, but not always. But now we also have Crystal Ibex by going to Targon. And I'm excited about this card. Because the 4-mana four 4-4 four is a good body, but it has that playability, grant an ally, overwhelm. We can just grant the Reckless Trifarian overwhelm all the time. So that's going to be pretty exciting. That works great with Reckless Trifarian. And you know what? That works great with Draven also, because people don't really want to block Draven. And um, yeah, Draven's just a great attacker, but sometimes they'll just throw like little 1-1s one or things like that in front of Draven. Draven with overwhelm is awesome, which, which we find out whenever Draven does level up, but not easy to level up Draven. So it should be pretty awesome. Then we got uh, Darius, you know, doing its thing at the, at the top end, being 10 power with a Captain Farron as well. So that's our deck. That's Draven Overwhelm. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. Feel pretty good about this one. I think that we're going to do well. Let's see. We were playing against They Who Endure. And you know what? They Who Endure decks love to block. They love to have little, like, 1-1s one and 2-1s and stuff like that block. So Overwhelm will be key. We're going to mulligan the Noxian Fervor. Um, we're going to have Grenadier into Ballista. Do we want a second Grenadier? I don't think so. I think let's look for a one drop. Look for our champions. That's a good one. And now Crystal Ibex. Well, we need the one drop first. But I guess we got the champions part. The chains, they never stop. See, they, they love blocking. Crystal Ibex would be a great draw to go along with the Draven. Especially how we have the attack token on turn 4. We play Draven on their turn, Ibex on our turn. I'd be happy. <laughs> oh, yes. I wanna go home. All right, we'll go home. I'm not stopping you. So Ballista or Dr. Avon. If they have something to kill the Curse Keeper, and then they have 3-3 and 4-3, are we going to be blocking with either? Probably not. What's my next turn going to be looking like? Yeah, it's Draven. Time for the main event. I have, like, Legion Grenadier to block right now. I don't think I would block any of those with right out. um death doesn't scare me yeah let's just do this i don't think i i don't think that my iron ballista would, would block any of these anyway Noxus lives on Worthy. so if we attack right now they have to, you know if they're going to block they have to block with bark beast which that's a good that's a good block for me but then we're not getting more pressure out there. But like if I play like Iron Ballista first, they just have their 3-3 block Iron Ballista, and then they play like a little 1-1 to block Draven. 
and that's like not very good. So I think I just attack. Good. Got three damage in. Getting closer to ten. I'd rather have Legion Grenadier do some blocking. And with, you know, we can also always, like, spinning axe our precious pet to be able to trade up as well. That's much worse for me. Why do Caretaker is still good? And they're at 16. So I think I just go fervor kill Callista. Hey buddy, what you doing? This would allow Vile Feast to kill Draven. So I'm doing this, and I'm not going to do it on on the Precious Pet because of Vile Feast. I'm just I don't know if this block is worth it right here or not. If we don't block, we're going to 12. I guess the answer is no. I don't I don't know. I don't know about this block here. If I'm supposed to make it or not. I just don't want to, like, they're kind of representing Vile Feast with the attack. I don't really want Vile Feast to kill my Draven. They are a Sejuani deck. We're going to play the 2 3 drops instead of playing the Darius. What does he want from me? This is the problem with playing stuff before combat, though. They just get awesome blocker. So I do get two damage in. I guess just you know, just one damage because they changed to his blocking, so we do get one damage in. Warren's Prey is a good card. Explosives pride. Bow to no one. Here to watch the bloodshed, sir. Here to win the war, soldier. Stand to. Gotta get out of here. Ride onward. <sighs> a crystal ibex would have been really good this game. Like with Draven having overwhelmed this game, that would have been really nice. Um, Warden's Prey or Mage Seer Conservator. I guess Warden's Prey. That's already going to level up Sejuani. If they have unspeakable horror, they can just frostbite my stuff during during their turn. That would be a nightmare. Captain, carve a pass. Seven atrocity. Also a nightmare. GG's. Learn from this. But even blocking the two one, we don't know if they could have killed me. Anyway, I had a great hand. All right, Lee Sin Karma. I feel like we should be able to beat Lee Sin Karma, but we'll have to see. Uh, I don't like Demolitionist on turn two. Uh, let's look for other ones and twos. There we go. I like Precious Pet into Grenadier more. Yeah, they had they had great uh, great blocking. The Blighted Caretaker was awesome. Yeah, just, you know, good hand.
Oh, it's different. Um, I. Okay, the question is, is this... The question was, was, is this deck better than discard aggro? It doesn't look like it. It's going to be better against different things. Like, it's going to be a lot better against... Like, decks that are kind of tuned to beat discard aggro with, like, your Withering Whales and that kind of that kind of stuff. Um, this is going to be a lot better because it has just such bigger threats with Overwhelm. So it's going to be better against um, spells that do little bits of damage. And there's a lot of those running around these days. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. It's Draven time. All right, I think I go before attacks play Solari Soldier. Let's see, what do we? They could play Lee Sin. Um, I'm not too scared of Lee Sin. I don't think there's anything else I'm really that scared of. I do kind of wish I had one more mana where I could play another one of these two drops and then have Pale Cascade. But that's not the case. Hellcast Data is awesome. That's that is great. Taking down a lease in. You are pretty good, Pale Cascading. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Yeah, good luck with that, kiddo. Good luck with that, kiddo. So they play two spells, which is likely they get the Draggling. The Draggling does block Kato. They don't know if you don't like if you don't have a card to play, it will automatically pass, but you can turn that off so you have to click pass each and every time. And therefore they do not know about that. Alright, we're gonna play the Crystal Ibex and grant the Kato the Arm Overwhelm, so they don't get an easy block on Kato. The problem with this is Okay, I was gonna say like maybe Concussive Palm could have been a, a problem with doing that. All right, we'll give Draven Overwhelm also. Their heartbeats quicken. Your lesson begins. The dragon binds us. All right. Your lesson begins. They do not want to block the four fours. They're going down to two. So I, I could play spells. You know, I could play like Pale Cascade. So like they can have Guiding Touch, right? Like if I go if I go Pale Cascade on one of these things and go for Lethal, they can go Guiding Touch. I think I again just want to keep killing Lee Sin. Don't think we're in a position where we need to like just go for Lethal. With Guiding Touch being a thing. So I don't know, like they Guiding Touch, stay alive. And then, you know, I don't know, Star Shaping and other stuff and Lee Sin starts doing things. With no Lee Sin, their outlook is looking pretty bleak. With me having all of this, we have Darius. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Okay, well. Alright, so basically, yes. I <laughs> I for so I forgot the like two spin I yeah. It's been a little bit for spinning axes, I guess, or something. I was just think I was so in my mind I was so focused on one spinning axe discarding the other spinning axe and not the ability to have a spinning axe discard one card and a, another spinning axe discard another card and we do the other two damage anyway. So a guiding touch would not have saved them. So yeah, I should have just gone for lethal, yeah. but... Right. And so now I only have two damage. All right, so we're playing against Trundle. Let's mulligan these. Okay, so we can either keep the Trifarian or mulligan it. I'm gonna just mulligan it, because we need to find one drop. We need to find one mana cards. Okay, well, because we have nine three mana cards. The Reckless Trifarian was good. I like Reckless Trifarian in this matchup. I would like to have Reckless Trifarian, but we have nine three mana cards. And so by mulliganing all of them, we're probably going to find another three mana card. So it's not that big a deal that we sent it away. I 
I'm not sure about this, though, playing the other precious pet instead of having Pill Cascade available right here because of this card. Avalanche. Wow. Well, GG's. I wasn't sure about that turn two. And looks like that was the very wrong play. That was a great vile feast. Down to twelve. If they don't break, they'll burn. For the glory of Noxus. Down to ten. Ten's an important number. They did nothing last turn. Kind of feels like maybe like they're setting up ruination. Just vile feast. They can't have Ruination, but they can definitely have bloodshed, sir. Um, to the war, soldier. Stand to. Vengeance. We got little bits of damage everywhere. So the question earlier about like discard aggro ver against besides this, I think that discard aggro would would be like this game would be kind of over against discard aggro of having avalanche and then you know like vile feast, vile feast, unspeakable horror, unspeakable horror. Like that's going to be really tough for um, discard aggro to deal with. Or I think we have more of a chance still. They cannot play Ice Quake, just 7 mana. I want to play something before Pale Cascade, so we draw a card off of Pale Cascade. And there's a decent chance I'm still playing the Legion Saboteur also before attacking. I have my orders. Yep. Alright. In position. Blast them! Noxus! Me. All right, let's attack. So no grass to the undying, no withering whale. They're coming. Hi. All right, that puts them down to negative one. Because this will put them down under ten. So that will put them down to negative one. Because they're still going down to, yeah, under 10. So there we go, GG's. Our borders grow. All right, back over to Lee Sin with Diana. I like our deck. We had a, you know, crazy good Endure Hand that we lost to, but I think our decks looked very good. Um, so Saboteur on one... Like, am I going Saboteur into Grenadier? And then do I... Maybe I just don't want this Solari Soldier? Or am I going Saboteur and then Solari Soldier on turn two? I think I just don't really want the Solari Soldier. We're gonna go like this. <laughs> no Alright, that's, that's my dog. Pet in the carpet. Yeah, so two options. Just attack. Do three. We could play Grenadier first. So 
uh, if they if they play the the mountain goat, the problem is I the dragon. If I well, either I guess I the dragon, we still get three damage in. I think it's probably just good to play this mountain goat. You know, mountain goat, we still attack with both. I the dragon, I just attack grenadier. Like if I attack with just saboteur, we're getting three damage in. This just gives us the upside of getting more in if they don't have Mountain Goat or Eye of the Dragon. You know, if they have neither, we're just taking a lot more damage. I don't think there's really any downside. My spirit, not my fist. Who's gonna get in my way? I guess they could have Pale Cascade and save their Eye of the Dragon. So that's a downside. No. So we still got three damage in. Thoughts on Basilisk Rider? I, it's a little weaker now with after the nerf, and the upside's not really there. Uh, four mana, five power with Overwhelm. I, I like the Crystal Ibex more here of giving other things Overwhelm, and and it's going to miss a decent amount of time with nine cards. You know, you're looking at missing, you know, like just 25% of the time or something like that, and that's probably too much. Hmm. I want to play I want to play something else before Pale Cascade. For the Empire. We have a con concussive palm. Ah. Uh, yeah, concussive palm's a little bit more of a problem. Make the Empire proud. They'll never see it coming. That's pretty good. Two mountain goats. Be able to give them the gems to be able to help for Eye the Dragon. Ready yourself. I love that block. <laughs> Love being able to get rid of Eye of the Dragon. That is clutch. For now, the, the two gems are important for them, also for Lee Sin. Hopefully, no Lee Sin. Crystal Ibex. That card's cool. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? So what's my plan? Noxion Fervor on my Trifarian to try to kill Eye of the Dragon? I guess that's my plan. I have my orders. And if that's the case, I don't want to go Demolitionist, because then these would have one health, so I don't want to do that. Um, I guess... They challenge a saboteur, and then we noxion fervor the saboteur. They challenge and try to kill Eye of the Dragon, or they're just gonna challenge. Yeah, Pill Cascade has been amazing for us for sure. This could be a problematic time for my opponent to have Pill Cascade. But that's the thing. If they would just go with the other gem, I'd be able to wait till after the gem and then fervor. Pale Cascade's the one card that really hurts here. You know, I, if they have, like, Guiding Touch, we're, we're okay. Awesome. Good. They didn't play like they had Pale Cascade the previous turn whenever they were uh, putting things out and blocking and stuff like that. They didn't play like they had a Pale Cascade. So, good. Two Eye of the Dragons down. That's fantastic. But do we have enough power to finish this game? We will find out. Nothing can stop me. Extend your senses. The dragon himself. This will shake him. Bahancha. Their heart beats quicken. Your attack is obvious. Would have been much better as a Pale Cascade. Basically because it would have drawn us a card. It would do the same thing of kill Lee Sin, but draw a card. This at least kills Lee, Lee Sin through their own Pale Cascade, which we haven't seen from them. 
Their deck doesn't have that many cards that win the game. Like, we got rid of two Eye of the Dragons and one Lee Sin. No, I hate saying that. I'll refill your hand. So, still looking for our champions. Our top end. Not Solari Soldier. Mystical levitation requires Worst card to draw. Play her now. Remember the objectives. I'm gonna give the reckless Trifarian overwhelm. No, it's only one mana three three for one turn, and then it turns it into two twos. Into a two two, so yeah, it's it's a it's a one mana two two, but for one turn it gets to be a three three. Well, worst draw in the deck again. The, the one drops are just the worst draws in the deck at this point. So that's two worst draws in the deck in a row. We got a champion. That's a little bit better. Unfortunately, they found a champion also. Came close to some good Pale Cascades. Uh, some last cards. Those are, those are good. Rise. Face your heretic. Specific reason why I didn't play Draven the previous turn. I should Enter, probably should have. And stop staring. All right, GGS. They did not have the you know anything else in hand to stop us. I have the cards to stop us. Damn, I'm good. What was Captain Farron like before? Yeah, M Mayor, you said that you haven't played since uh, Captain Farron was updated. What was it before? I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's... Okay, that's right. You would discard cards and you would turn them into decimates. That's right. All right, playing against Ash with Noxus. Well, I'm, it's a pretty good curve. And I'll just keep all of these. I think this could be a good fervor game against a 4-mana 5-3. That could be a good place to have an auction fervor. I love the Crystal Ibex to go with the tri Reckless Trifarian. Ours is the one true light. For the Empire. Now we're just playing a 1 mana 2 1. That's a lot worse than a 3 3. Cool. That's not too bad. The trap is set. Nothing can stop me. I'm through waiting. Ow. All right, Ibex grants overwhelm. Yeah, and then we got Kato. We need to play Kato on their turn and then go to our turn and be able to go right to attacks and have double Noxion Fervor. Worst case scenario is they just drew Enraged Yeti. That, that would be bad. Best case scenario, Enraged Yeti is the third card. 
These old eyes still see far and clear. Clear it out! So they block the 2-3 and the 4-4, four, four. they take 5. So it's not worth it anymore. Because they're already going to be able to block the 4-4 four, four either way. Ready the um, if they want to make this block. Yeah, like they're, they're, they'd still take five. Like, I, yeah. So now it's not worth it to give them to have that, give them the free block on the two three. Light the signal fires. Nothing escapes my. Life. All right, so they're definitely drawing enraged yeti right here. All the world on one arrow. That's gonna be their last card. What time is it? <laughs> yeah, so the, do you think the, the deck do you think the deck size should be 39, not 40, so you can have decks of perfect three ofs? Don't know what this attack's all about. I'm very surprised by this attack. So I'm making this block. So making this block. Yes, they can use enrage or yes, they can use brittle steel or you know, like yeah, they can use brittle steel here. But now they're not using brittle steel on my attack one and two. Now they're not playing enraged yeti because we know they have enraged yeti. So I'm just kind of trading that for that spot. That's worth it for sure. That's weird that they're frostbiting the thing that Avaros and Sentry is blocking. Shouldn't that be the other way around? Like, don't they want their Avaros and Sentry to die, not the Trapper to die? I guess the Trapper kills the, kills my Demolitionist. Our deck's a lot we weaker to harsh winds than it's discard aggro. Because we go bigger. Raise your weapon, Sunwind. Side. I've got work to do. He'll be back. He's too stupid to die. Agree. For the hand. I'm gonna play another reckless trifarian to be able to give overwhelm to. I guess this this turns on brittle steel. I should be just I should just target the two one or the two two to turn that into a two one. That lets them brittle steel this now. That that was not a good decision. We'll see if I get punished for that or not. That was not a good decision. Yeah, should it should have just done this to the two one. Okay, it said harsh wind so. Not punished for the decision. Ready the torches. Put him down to five. I'm I'm basically I'm thinking Noxion Fervor on the Caddo target the Enraged Yeti. Have my Draven kill Enraged Yeti. They uh their sentry won't die. So they don't get to draw the card. No, I know 
They're at five, and that's three points of burn right there. Yeah, and I, I like them not drawing cards. I think that's a that's a big part of this. I'm not drawing that extra card. Not finding more frostbite cards. So now they're looking at potential three, you know, this one card plus two others before I'm attacking again with these things. That's a great draw. Safeguard our homes. The guilty will bend. That was a really bad play by them. Like, I'm just holding those spinning axes. I have, like, the overwhelm thing. That was just not a good play by them. It is me. I need to do that on the way back. Alright, hopefully not. Nope. Not a frostbite card. Okay, I was gonna say, I like kind of doing this right now too. <laughs> you know, like sometimes they kind of concede or not. You can kind of go like that and see if they're not conceding. After just like five seconds or something, you can think, okay, well maybe maybe they have a plan for this and maybe they drew a frostbite card. So then I was gonna, I was I was about to pull them back and play the Legion Grenadier, because they're they're the only card that it makes sense. The only way you get punished. For playing Legion Grenadier is if they have Ice Veil Archer, if that was the card they drew. Um, I think that's the only card. That was the one that was coming to mind, at least. So I was I was going to play the Legion Gren Grenadier before attacks. GG's! Alright, so we went 4 and 1. Uh, lost that that really great Endure Hand. Um, I, liked, I liked this deck. I mean, I, this is... Um, yeah, this felt like a really strong deck, especially with a lot of people having, like, the small removals and stuff. And the fact that we got to beat the Frostbite deck with, you know, have just, you know, big dumb attackers and that beat the Frostbite deck, that was pretty big. Pale Cascade, absolutely amazing. This card was an all-star. Really had our, our small one-drops trading with uh, Lee Sin plenty of times and things like that. Pale Cascade, definitely an all-star. And Crystal Ibex was awesome. Yeah, this card was great. Just be a four mana four four was awesome. Giving giving Trifarian and Draven overwhelm. That was really really good. I think that 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 yeah. So Pale Cascade, Ibex, those two cards amazing. Our other Targon card, Solari Soldier, was was fine. You know, it's a it's an extra one drop. Um, it wasn't anything special, but um, you know, you can't really complain too much about one drops. Um, Got to have them in an aggro deck like this. I'm not sure if you need nine one drops. I wonder if you could go eight and get like a, I don't know, a second Captain Farron or just like some, I could see like having one extra big top end card. It, it does seem like, you know, like the games go a little bit longer. It, it does definitely feel like we could use an extra top end card over here. I don't know exactly what that would be. Um, I don't know if you'd want, yeah, I don't know if like Bastion would really fit in this deck with this kind of stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but it did feel like we need, we needed like another top end card. Like, if you think about... So this deck's very similar to the Noxus Harrowing decks. And if you think about those kind of decks, they were playing, you know, good two, three copies of Harrowing at the top end also. Not just, like, the one Captain Farron. It, it felt like we needed one more of those kind of cards. And maybe one more... Maybe it's another... Just another Captain Farron. Yeah, or we could go... Yeah, Sun Guardian. Dude, Sun Guardian. That could be good. Where's Where are you at, Sun Guardian? Why can I not find you? There, you're right here. Sorry, you're like behind where my camera is. You know, the middle of the screen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. 8-7 Overwhelm for 6 mana? Like, I mean, it's it's basically Darius. Like, you play it, it's Darius. Nothing wrong with this card. Yeah, so I think I want... Yeah, I think I'd want 8 1 drops and another top end card. Another, yeah, another... A Sun Guardian or a second Captain Farron. So there we go. That's, that's what I would think I'd recommend. And I guess Solari Soldier is the worst one drop. Soldier works well with Demolitionist, though, as we saw. Like, Saboteur and Precious Pet don't work with 
demolitionist. I want. I don't know if soldier is better than saboteur or not. Like maybe it is. Precious pet's the best one drop. I don't know which one of these two to cut. I don't know. Like they're so close. Like the the fear so means that the the reason why precious pet's the best is because like there's a lot there's a lot of other one mana. Um even like one and two mana like small units like in the game like lots of other people are playing one drops precious pet gets through it attack it hits other one drops block these things saboteur is like the worst against um your like jury rig decks and your your disc your omen hawk decks and your hapless aristocrats all that kind of stuff saboteur is worse than all three of these with that Saboteur also gets like the automatic one damage in whenever you're attacking, even in the late game. So it's like the best at that. But Precious Pet, they always got to like use like a real blocker. And like the thing, also the, the another reason why Precious Pet's like the best one in this is because your your threats, you're not going wide, you're going big. And so with your big threats, they need big blockers on your on your big overwhelms. And Precious Pet also requires a big blocker. So if they have to have, so to block Precious Pet, they have to use a big blocker, but they have to use big blockers on your other things that are going big. So that is why, and so Precious Pet just, um, you know, like that, you know, like it's just kind of like bottlenecking their large blockers. All right, so if you say, yeah, you, you say Soldier, Soldier is awesome. So then, yeah, so then maybe, so then it's Cut a Saboteur. I think it's, it's Cut one of those two. So if you like Soldier more, so then it's Cut a Saboteur. Because, yeah, with, with Demolitionist, Demolitionist does buff up the uh, use of playing Soldier. We saw that in one of our other games of like, play Soldier turn one, Demolitionist turn two. Like that's better than Saboteur. All right, so we'll do that. We'll cut a Saboteur. We will play a second Captain Farron. And yeah, there we go. Reckless Trifarian in a really good deck. That's where we're at these days. Crystal Ibex, pretty sweet. Those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Let me need, let me know what you think of this one, Draven Overwhelm. I'd appreciate that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.